websites. Maybe you're thinking about having your first one made, or maybe you just need a new, better one. In any case, you should know at least some of the basics about web design. And don't worry, it'll only take three minutes. First of all, let's face it, your website is the core of all of your online marketing activities. If you look at all the marketing channels and techniques, what they actually do is bring visitors to your website. And the main purpose of a website is turning these visitors into customers. In marketing terms, this is called conversion. A bad website will basically make you waste money on other marketing efforts because you don't need more visitors if you can't turn them into customers. So the better your website is, the more visitors are converted into your customers. And it doesn't really matter whether you sell consumer products online, provide local services, or build houses. Many people in the industry call themselves web designers, but they're really just a bunch of geeks with some basic coding knowledge. Of course, without much planning, they will pretty quickly create a website for you with lots of information, photos, contacts. But the question is, is that the way to turn your visitors into customers? Is that what you need? And the simple answer is no. What you have to do is look for someone that is serious about web design. The first step is always about information gathering, identifying the things like website purpose, goals, and target audience. Phase two, planning. A plan includes a definition of the site map, structure, and technologies that we're about to use. Phase three, design. Not only do we focus on wireframe models and the visual style in this stage, but also on the usability of the user interface for the best possible user experience. Phase four, content. A very important part of the process is choosing the right text, photos, or videos, all optimized not only for your visitors, but also for search engines. Phase five, development. Here we actually create the website using the hypertext markup language and cascading style sheets with some help from databases and other technologies. We also optimize our websites for performance on mobile devices too. Phase six, testing. We test all the technical features like coded scripts, compatibility with major browsers, and we also ask ourselves if the website really fulfills its purpose. Phase seven, deployment. After we launch the site, our job is definitely not done yet. We always monitor what's happening after the start, enabling us to fix any possible deficiencies. If you want, we can also monitor your search performance, social, and other online marketing efforts. As you've seen, website design is a very complex process, but we believe this is how website